I haven't been recording. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, you talking about the little girl? Yes, she did not exist in original Nier. I'm just gonna sit back and wait for Elden Ring at this point. Ooh, what's Elden Ring? Feeling fine now, was only really bad for a couple days. All I've been now is a uh, cough and stuffy nose. That's good. When I played Ending E, I basically witnessed history. Um, Ending E was originally written in one of their light novels. They released novels which had um, stories of different characters. I kind of talk about it when I play through Nier, but like it had stories about um, a nun that visited Kaina's village and like then we find out that Kaina is a hermaphrodite. Um, story about Nier and how he became to like fight shades and how he was like working to take care of Yona. And he did some weird jobs. Um, what other stories were there? I think there was a story about the lighthouse lady or someone about, or someone else in um, the sea town. Uh, but yeah. They released like, like two light novel books, I think. But I don't think they translated it for English. They translated the Nier Automata novels, though. I got my booster today and I felt sick most of the day. I feel like crap right now. I wish I was asleep. When I got my booster, I was so tired for three days. Oh, yeah. She didn't exist? She didn't exist! My sister is a doc. She tells me the booster is only 75% effective, so we all gotta stay careful. Don't come. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, we just gotta stay vigilant, make sure we're always wearing our mask, washing our hands, like staying away from people. Yeah, it's just not gonna go away. You gotta live with it. I wish it would go away, but people are too selfish. And so we won't quarantine again to like make sure this dies down. But also like people around the world won't, at, like everyone won't get vaccinated because they don't have access to vaccines. The more variants will keep popping up. And that's how we got a deal! Oh, whoa, I'm in! I thought I was like 200 people away. Um, I've been under the impression that everything was already made. So Emil having a new body, how does that tie into um, Automata? Um, so Emil having a new body... Uh, it's because the, near, the Emil that we see in Automata isn't really... Um, the original Emil. He's cloned himself over and over. Um, wait, it's lower? How, how do I get down? Wait. But yeah, because he's in that like uh, skeleton body, uh, he can live forever, but he also cloned himself to be able to fight off the aliens. Oh, I can go out this way. What am I doing? I have double time. Got the Pfizer vaccine over the summer, but didn't get the booster yet. Oh, okay. Get the booster! Elderman is the new Dark Souls from FromSoft. Oh my god, the Caratorium! That's so cute. Oh man. I, I was thinking today, I was like, should I go back to Dark Souls? Because I kind of want to like play more, but then... I remember how much I sucked and can't even get past, like, one dude. And I was like, no, I don't want to subject people to this, because they're just going to be yelling at their screen and being like, wow, you suck. To the West. The replicants are androids that they can't reproduce. Yeah, the replicants are... Oh my gosh, I love this place. This place is the best. Um, yeah, replicants are not real um, bodies, so they can't reproduce. Because they're just shells to house the souls of the original people until they find a way to get rid of the disease. And, um and uh, put all their souls back. I see the ether current. 
But Nier ruined that uh, because he destroyed Shadow Lord, who was the original Gestalt, and without his data, um, the rest of the project fell through. Help! Oh. All those children we saw, um, they are shades. Oh, the children, um, they're real kids. Just, they're not real kids? Northwest, 285 yards. So is it here? Look at me, ignoring my responsibilities. I'm going to find ether currents. Whee! Northwest, north, wait, northwest? Oh, wait, if I'm going northwest, then I should do this quest just in case it takes me over there. Oops. Oh no, where are you? I'm actually be playing Dark Souls in prep right now. Gotta get the reflexes warmed up. <laughs> I'm thinking if I go back to Dark Souls, maybe I'll choose a different class that doesn't use arrows, because I think one of the reasons I was dying so much was because I didn't know how to switch between weapons. And I was like, arrows would be good, but they did nothing to help. Or I just totally sucked at it. But maybe I'll choose a different class. Because I think when I started, I chose a uh, hunter. Examine the story. Can you guys hear me okay? Is my volume alright? Can you hear my keyboard and mouse clicking? Oh. Orange, carrot, blue, yellow, crimson. I mean, I like orange. From frond to tip, no scratches or blemishes, marred as immaculate specimen. Nevertheless, it's if not for its excessive length and girth, one might think it was an ordinary carrot. Mm-hmm. You sh I wanna eat this carrot. On second thought, you elect to simply take an obscenely large carrot for now. Due to its bizarre qualities, it would be prudent to ask Cooking Way whether it is safe to eat first. No, okay. Well, those kids are also- yeah. Uh, what about the crazy junk brother? Yeah, everyone that you think is a- Oh no, wait. Because sometimes shades would, um, disguise themselves as, uh, people. But no, the junk brother is also a replicant. That was another story. The Junk Brothers. The it um it told the story of what happened to their mom right before Nier came to their shop. Eat the obscenely large carrot. With great trepidation, you take a bite out of the carrot. There's a satisfying crunch as you sink your teeth into the orange skin, and a warm tingling sensation runs down your spine. With the second bite, a wave of euphoria washes over you and you drown in bliss. Alas, as you finish, the elation fades, leaving you with a desperate craving for another carrot. Oh no. Carrot of happiness. One thing I didn't like about Replicant is that the evil dude inside of Kinda turned good way too fast. I guess so. But he was evil for a long time. Felt like an afterthought, and he and he was, was he super necessary. He kind of was to show even more how Kaine was even more of an outcast, and um, yeah, and shunned from society. These carrots are extraordinary. But what if I don't like carrots? I can certainly see demand for this in Charlian. I'll say they're extraordinary. He went good guy fast, didn't he? I mean, because he spent a, like, a lot of time with Kaina, I guess. Um, he's like, in the end, I'll help you out. I think Evil Dude, uh, yeah, in s evil dude inside Kaina was necessary for Nier to realize that shades aren't evil after all. That too. Because he was so accepting of Kaina, and she's like, hey, but I'm like half shade. I got a shade living in me. And he's like, no, but you're still you. Even though after he said that, he still kept killing like all shades and he was like, shades are evil, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I like how it meant kind of understood everything the shades were saying. I know, wasn't that such a great twist? So when you played the game a second time around, you're just like, oh, sadness. I hate carrots unless I feed it to a rabbit, then carrots are okay. 
You know, uh, rabbits don't actually... Ah, oh, legs! I get pants! Um, carrot... Uh, rabbits don't really eat carrots. Yeah, that's not a thing they do. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get my trusty musty car. <laughs> Get out of my car. Whoopsies. I'm killing babies and I don't regret it. No! I mean, kind of, because there's just so many of them and you're just like, slice, slice, slice. Mm -hmm. They do feel bad for the children. Wait, is this not it? Wait, where are you? Huh? Doko? Don't call Bugs Bunny a liar. But I am. It's because of Bugs Bunny that everyone thinks that rabbits eat carrots, but that is wrong. So lying, Bugs Bunny was always eating carrots. He smoked carrots too. <laughs> they weren't conscious anyway. They didn't feel a thing. They were conscious. They felt everything. That's why they were crying, dude. Southeast. Yeah, I'm nowhere near. Yeah, I love how um, Yoko Taro's Nier and Drakengard games make you feel like that. It's like, hey, do you feel good about cutting through tons of enemies <laughs> just to fulfill your desire? <laughs> does this, does killing a lot of people make you a hero? And I'm just like, ah, you're so good, Yoko Taro. Especially in Drakengard 3, I feel like that point uh, hits home a lot more. It's so good. Speaking of, we've actually had a wabbit living in our backyard for a couple years and I want to keep him. That's so cute! An outfit that embodies my bloodlust. Something simple yet functional, a fashionable and refined ensemble. Heck yes, I want the fashion. I keep leaning to my right. I should stop. I don't know, I was too busy slicing and dicing to care. I mean, the very first time I played the game, I was like, God, get out of my way! And then the second time when I realized what was happening, I was like, I'm a monster. That's what Pokemon tried to do with Black White. Ah, uh, okay. It, why am I wearing a potato sack? Excuse me. This is not fashionable. I know nothing of fashion. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Speechless! And there I thought you might not like it. <laughs> Why not speak with a few of my artisans? I'm sure- Oh my gosh. You will change back to your normal garments if you move too far away. Look on your map for the garments area. Change effect. Oh my gosh. Another... Oh gosh. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, so I just can't leave this area. Oh, fine. Wait, where are you? Huh? I do like how Nier is hypocritical between Kaina and Shades. Mm-hmm. Like, boy, what you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Is this a door? What? No! Ah! Oh! Whoa! Wait, what? Good. I was like, whoa, do I not use bows anymore? I was so confused. I don't remember how to play. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, what's this about Pokemon Black and White? They tried to make it more about morality and like 
Hey, do you feel good fighting all these things? Wait, is it not here? Is it up there? Oh, I'm dumb. Ah! I don't even care if they can play the fiddle, I'm still gonna murk them. What? <laughs> what is that from? Eh, jump. Whoever has the, uh, sister doctor? What does she recommend it, uh, you take if you feel like crap after the booster and are in pain in your head and arms? Are we just supposed to take Tylenol? Not Advil. Got anything with a moon flare? Anyways, bottom line is I want near, I mean not near, Yoko Taro to remake Dragon Guard 3. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please, guys, make me pretty. I must continue wearing these garments. <sighs> Which designs of Devil and Popola do you prefer? Replicant or autom automata? Automata! I really hate their automata skins. You do? Why? I love it. I think their outfits are so much more like streamlined and pretty in Automata. They're too pink? Were they pink? Yeah, I guess in Nier they were more uh, red, and in Automata they were slightly pinker. But I love their clothes. I want Taro to make the next FF Tactics. Oh man, that would be epic. What the heck are we waiting? Wearing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my. Wow. Uh. <laughs> uh, their hair was way out there in Automata. I couldn't recognize them when I played Replicant for the first time. Oh. I knew. I knew it was them. Cause I was like, RED TWINS! It's them! How come everyone else got like, pretty bright colors and I got brown? Thanks a lot, tiny rabbit people. I mean, look at our fabulous clothes. Just try to match that. You're experienced. I am. But I think that's also like another shock factor because you're like, whoa, they look so different. And so you're just like, wait, they're still around? Amazing. Oh man, and they only mentioned a chord by name once in Automata and I was just like, Dragon Guard 3, please. I'm skipping this. I love being on the moon, but give me pants now. Give me pretty pants. Oh my word. By the way, I'm in love with he Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward is cool. I don't like their dungeons. There are a couple dungeons that I'm just like, oh, why? You suck. Wait, southeast? Oh, no, wait, that's outside the moon, but there was one to the northwest? Let's map out this region. It's League better than A Realm Reborn. Heck yes. 
It is. And then you get to, um... Not Shadowbringers. Stormblood. And you're like, meh. And then you'll get to Shadowbringers, and you'll be like, yeah. And then you'll get to here, and you'll be like, hmm. Because seriously, I know, I know I've been skipping cutscenes, but even from the main quest that I had to do, I'm just like, what purpose do you serve for the story? I really like the story, there are stakes. I know, right? It's like, hey, we gotta fight against, like, dragons and ice wishes. Woo! 138 yards to the north. I'm at the ending in the main story. Ooh! And then you got the, gotta do the stupid, like, Oh no, here's some quest to tide you over until the next main story comes out. 38 yards to the north. There we are! I don't like a uh, Heaven's War map. Uh, map so you don't necessarily big just to show off flying. Yeah, you have a good point there, but I also feel like it's big just to show, like, the expanse of the world. Like, hey guys, this is a huge kingdom. And why it's like, it takes so much effort to get everyone together and fight together and like, yeah, this is why the wars were held here. Or like, fought here, because there's just so much land. I love the Ice Witch. Yeah, she was cool. 900 yams to set. Okay, so the next one is out here on the moon, presumably. So, what I can do, instead of walking... I ain't looking forward to that. Is... Who? Lahini? I don't know who that is. Oh, the song? Um... I don't know... I don't know... I don't really know the song names. Proceed to residential area? Yes. Oh, we get it in here too. Nice. Please give me pants. Oh, wait. But even if I get pants, my shoes are covering everything. Like, I don't get to see the pants. Oh, look it up on YouTube? I shall, after I look at my house. Oh, it didn't work. Reconstruction? Uh oh, where's it sending me? Ah! I kind of wish I was a Lalafell to see how tall I would be against the little rabbit dudes. <gasps> what? Secrecy is going on. Oh, so just asking him about the housing. Lahi, let me drink your soda. What? Also, hello, Tomatio. Happy New Year. Oh, they just want to make everything nice for us. Time is not on our side. Mm. They just want to make the, the ship nicer for us. They just don't know how. <laughs> you look like you hate our work the most. 
Uh oh, drama. Mother. Happy New Year's. I haven't been around Nine since Symphonia. How did you end up liking it? Symphonia was good. What? It was like a solid, like whoa, story about saving the world. Um. Although the the final boss, I'm just like, do you? You're just throwing a tantrum because you lost your sister. Is that spoil? Sorry about the spoilers. But I'm just like, hmm, you're not cool, dude. And then, um... Uh, I feel like Zelos came in way too late in the game. Um... For me to really care about him. But he... Uh... I kept him in my final party anyway, because I was just like... I'd rather have you than, um... Than the other dude. But, overall, I think Symphonia was great. Good story. I really want to play another Tales game again. I actually played, a, like, an hour of Tales of Arise? And I was like, ooh, I like how they do the skits now. And the battle system, and like how you like enter battles and then just like finish. I was like, whoa, this is really cool. It's, it's like so seamless, but I kept messing up the battle because like I kept pushing the regular buttons instead of R1 for normal attacks. So I kept doing arts and running out of um, CP, and I was like, no, stop it. Oops. Wait, what am I doing? I could just do this. Uh, recommend gear. Snowy linen bottoms of Amy. Oh, <gasps> wait, wait! Take my, take my boots off. I'm gonna quit. Oh! I thought I would only be wearing the shorts. I thought I would only be wearing this. And I wouldn't have all of this. And I was excited. Uh, we can't have every- but this makes it look like, you know, it's only the pants. I like it. <laughs> Actually, you need to watch uh, Soken perform Lahi It's Golden. Okay. Is Lahi the song that goes... Like that one? Uh, can you remap buttons in Arise? I haven't tried to because I was just playing my cousins. Um, so I didn't want to really like mess up his thing too much. Okay, so it's down. Teleporter. You can replay Symphonia and get the alt ending. I should, but I want to play through other Tales games first before I go back to um ones I've played already. Like. I really will get around to doing Berseria and Zestiria. Wait, I got another one on the PS3, I think. Did I? I got Symphonia. Uh, Graces. Reward. Those are the only two for, that I got digitally. I know he's right there, but this little corner is bugging me. Oh, I'm gonna run to the edge of the wall to complete my map. Uh, Legendia and Zillia. Oh yeah, Zillia was fun. Zillia, I really like the battle system in that one. I have not played Legendia. Eternia, have not played that. I want to play. I want to eventually play through all Tales games. I feel like I'm gonna play Berseria and Zestiria before I even get to Arise. <sighs> I'll just always be late to the Tails party. I'll never play one- wait, Northeast. I'll never play one when it comes out on release day. Ooh, look at this, it's so pretty! North. Looking at the wolf! Look 
looking at them off? I can't go through this hole in the stairway. Are you for real? That's redonk. Tales of Destiny, Tales of Destiny 2. Tales of Hernia? That's that's not real. I need those ports. Oh no, how am I supposed to get this? Can't climb! Was I supposed to drop from there? Oh, I was supposed to drop from there. I'm dumb. I'm like, kind of glad they have these ether currents again. Cause it's like, yay, soon I'll be able to fly. But some of them are in such like, annoying locations to get to. Like, you have to go around, like, a secret, stupid, thin path before you get to it. Southeast. This time I'll use magic to cover. Oh, I'm not in a sanctuary location? What? And look, it's so pretty! Oh, I'm not. There are enemies here. Why would there be enemies in a protective spaceship? Oh, I don't have my ether current. Wait, I need the math completion. Because it also gets me experience. Okay, sorry, I need to dismount to check where the ether current is. 251 yams to the south. Or if I just move this here, get back on there. Huzzah! Wow, this is cool. Oh, there it is. <gasps> I was just admiring this little pool, but I found the ether current. Can I do any extra quests yet? <gasps> Damn it! No, I missed these. Um, let's check my ether current score. Oops. So I only need to find. Four more and do five quests. Let's go complete quest. I'm looking for the FF4 music. I know. Ugh. So much nostalgia. It's so good. Final Fantasy 4 is one of my favorites. I love 4 and 6 the most. Uh. Oh! I couldn't see the forest or the tree. You're in the forest right now. Whoops. Oh, I thought I was supposed to like answer a password or something. A nice long stretch and a spot of relaxation. Do I have to stretch? Stretch. You can leave Gromay behind by entering a different area. Oh my gosh, is it another freaking escort quest? Badge! I hate these escort quests. What good are- what are they good for? Why do we have to do them? It's such a waste of time. Rack. I still need to play 1 to 6, 8 and 9 and 12. Heck yes. Do it, do it, do it. Play all of them. They're all great. They're all fantastic. They each have their own little special something to bring to the table. A lot of people didn't seem to like 12. 
I think because of the gambit system. And I'm just like, what? It feels like you're playing an MMO. No! I'm in battle! But I guess they didn't like that. They're just like, eh. I just want to play the game. I mean, changing up gambits for different bosses was annoying, but if you didn't go after a, like, a lot of the espers and the secret bosses, you didn't really need to do that much. Twelve is so fun, right? Twelve is really epic. Like, one thing I got sick about with Twelve was that you had to do so much to get to the one thing you wanted to do. So it's like, hey, you wanted to go into this dungeon? Then you have to do this hunt, which leads to this dungeon, which leads to this quest, and then you get to reach the dungeon. And I'm just like, can I just go to the dungeon, please? <laughs> Especially getting to all the espers. Oh my gosh. It's like, hey, you can't get the espers out of order because you got to do this hunt and then this hunt and then this hunt and then this hunt and then you need this item and then you can finally face the esper. And I'm just like, why? As a programmer, I loved FF12 because I could make gambits that let me walk away from all the boss fights or AFK farm. Exactly, that's why I'm just like, yeah, you could you could do so much. Like, all the combinations are, like, limitless. So many possibilities. But I guess people didn't like that and they're just like, give us our regular, just like, spam a button gameplay. But 12 was good. I like the world of 12. I like the story of 12. Because 12 was like, it still felt like medieval, like classical Final Fantasy. And like, but still like they brought in like the, um, the technology of airships and all that. I don't know, it felt epic. And the world really felt like you traveled in it because you had to go everywhere. If you wanted to do everything. Uh, the ash gas will live forever in my heart. Um, the one where she she slaps um What's his name? Not Balthier. Bosh? Cause that's what like I remember the most. Sorry, my nail is bothering me. Uh, 12 felt like Final Fantasy Star Wars in the best way. Yes! Yes, that's what it felt like. So yeah, I like 12. And then 13 happened, and then I was just like... What happened? I mean, when I first got 13 and played it, I was like... Whoa! <gasps> yes! Feet! Feet. Um... When I first uh, got 13 and played it, I was like, Woo, look at this whole new world to ooh, explore and like, wow, this is amazing. And then when I got to the final boss, I was like, wait, already? Wait, wait, what? Like, what is our final purpose and goal? I, I don't know. It just felt so, so empty. It felt like... Rather than focus on like an overall like here's a here's the bad guy. We gotta work together to defeat him. It felt like it, they were more focusing on their personal troubles and their personal growth. And then after they achieved that, they're just like, okay, let's go fight the bad guy. But it's like, how did this world come to be? What exactly is the false and the sea and like um, whatever else? Like, why is the system in place? Who the heck is um? Who was the goddess lady in that? But yeah, like, why does the system exist and like, blah blah like, I feel like they should have explained that more. And I feel like if 15 and type 0 were supposed to be what they were supposed to be, they would have added more. It just... I feel like they were too ambitious, and they didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. Like, plans fell through, so it, like... Yeah, 13... Could not live up to what it possibly could have been. 
which is sad. I still love Type-0, though. I will say the bad thing about Type-0. All the information you want of the world and the war and what they're living through, you have to read in files. And I'm like, who wants to read files? Just please tell us in cutscenes and dialogue. But I love all the kids. Uh, look up Ash Gas compilation when you have time, it's funny. Okay, I'm gonna write these down. I'm gonna look up Lahi and Ash Gas compilation. Lahi. Oops, I can write. And F F O Ash Gas FF10 also had a combat system people dislike, but I like the switching party members mechanic and how the ATB lets you see the exact turn order. Yes, I thought that was interesting too because I was like, okay, because this lets you plan out for like um, strategies and um, like casual people can get in on this too. And I liked it. I didn't think it was terrible. Whee! Tarpon down the left side. Fabio Nova Crystal's stories could have definitely tied themselves together. Yeah, but that just didn't happen. Ooh. Sadly, I feel like 15 could have brought it at full circle. I mean, you all, already, you guys already know my thoughts about 15, so I won't say anything about it anymore. No oh, carrot, my carrot. With the chat mode and say, use your keyboard or the software keyboard to enter any phrase containing the words "carrot of happiness." There's so many carrots of happiness today? Problem with 13 is that it was intended to be part of the work, uh, the entirety of it. It was also intended to be cinematic, hence the focus on characters. I hope it gets justice in the remake. I mean, if they get someone who knows what the heck they're doing and knows how to, like, um, and if execs get out of their way and is like, no, you should make it like this. You should do this. Like, let the professionals do what they do because they know what they're doing. Um, and yeah, just, just chill out. What am I looking for here? Search for Oriental. Nope. Search for the iron carrots. Okay, I'm searching for iron carrots here. I mean, versus, I really want your unfiltered take on 15. Didn't you hear it already, Artsy? I feel like I spoke at length about, um... About 15. Oh, fate. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, carrots are not blue. Yeah. Hey, Smooth! How you doing? Happy New Year, dude! Did I do this? Okay. Oh, there's only three minutes left? Shh, no, thank you. Hi! Not doing it! Not doing it! I need that energy. Square is dabbling into... NFTs now? Oh, no! Why? Stop it! No NFTs! Just stop it! Stop Bitcoin! Stop cryptocurrency! Stop NFTs. It's just... Stop it. I don't, I don't understand why NFTs would be a thing if you could just buy the artwork from the artist. Like, is, is that so hard? <laughs> why does it have to be electronic? I don't understand. It's now, according to old men, 
No, stop it. Just, just stop it. Oh man, someone's here. I'll help you then. DOTs, give them DOTs, give me DOTs, hit them with DOTs. Yay, we did it! I need to find a carrot. But yeah, I heard a story about someone who had like a bunch of money and Bitcoin on a hard drive, but then he accidentally threw the hard drive out. And so it's like he lost all that money. Whoa, you're a carrot supporter? Institute is in stock of iron carrots. Iron carrot detected. Initiating iron carrot procurement. Oh! Uh. I think 14 is safe from NFTs for now. The engine can't support it, but... I uh, think that FF7 Soldier Mobile game is right for it. No, stop. No. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. No NFTs. Can't stand big coins like. Oh, I don't understand. Oh, okay. I got the carrots, but now I need to talk to the other lopperets. You appear here. Some people on Instagram are getting hacked by Bitcoin scammers. Why? Why are they hacking into people's Instagram? No, you're not here? Where are you? What? What? Where's the lopper? Eh? Oh, right here. <laughs> Carrot! Oops. Wait, is my shift on? Oh, my caps is on. Carrot of happiness. What? What? Unfortunately, it's not our decision. It's all about investors pushing for higher gains. Ironically, that's what happened with Konami. They got screwed by the pandemic. GG dudes. Ah! Like, they would go around posting stuff like, This Bitcoin thing is legit. Try it out. It's easy. No! It's like, if you don't understand how real-world money and stocks work, don't- don't do Bitcoin, don't do cryptocurrency. Oh, I have to, like, talk to them first and then... Carrot of happiness. Oh, I can't... Oops! Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, stop! Okay, it can't be in caps. It has to be lowercase. Is this a special? Nope. That is not. Wow. Die. What? Like, who determines the value of cryptocurrency anyway?
Like, who makes it so that it has any worth? A bunch of... Like, digital data? What? It makes no sense. Konami dumped Kojima and went Pachinko, which is bad now. I miss Suikoden. Mudkips. Suikoden is one reason why I, I'm so upset with Konami right now. Suikoden is so flippin' epic. And it was so good. And oh man. Oh man. It just. Mm. I'm so sad. We won't get more Suikodens. It was so epic! It was so, like, fresh and original. Like, collecting 108 characters to build a base. Some are fighters, some some are shop owners, some just do, like, some are just there to hang out. But it's like, how amazing is that? And it really makes you feel like you're, um... You're accomplishing something for the world. Like, you are building up a force to be reckoned with, and you are going to fight against the bad guys and save the world. It is so freaking good. Hey, Omaka, how you doing? Happy New Year. Okay, I don't think there's any more special. Yeah. No more special marker, so I will just moosey back. Okay, I loved Sweet Code in 1, 2, 3 because they all like kind of connect to each other because in 2, some characters from 1 show up and in 3, one character that was major like... What? Was he really major? I don't know, but one character that was there is just like... Boom, this is my... Um, this is my um, final thoughts or... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, it just built up to like... I don't really want to say too much because... I want people to play Sweet Code in 3. It was so good! Sweet Code in 3 was really interesting. And I feel like they got the multiple uh, viewpoint storyline thing down. It was just so good. And then 4 was... 4 was when they were mostly on the boat, right? That one I was like... Yeah, okay. So it doesn't have anything to do with the first three anymore. This is just like a totally new character, totally new storyline. Fine. Um, I liked five. Five was um really interesting too, and I was like, oh, I did not expect this twist, but maybe I should have expected it. I don't know. It was just, it was just so good. They just don't make him like they used to. I know. I was thinking about like even watching um other let's players. I'm just like it doesn't feel like. There's been one game, or like, a series of games that people have been really like, gung-ho and like, this is awesome, over. Like, there's nothing that's like, super new. And um, I, I don't know. I mean, there have been good games. Like, for sure. Like, you know, God of War, Resident Evil, um, Ghost of Tsushima, Sekiro. Not saying they're bad, but, you know, they're already based off, um, like, video game concepts that we've seen before. And even if people make, like, make some noise about it, I feel like after a while, it just dies down really quick. No one's still, like, gushing over it and being like, this was amazing, it was so unique and fresh. Which is why when Replicant came out, I was like, yes, now people get to experience good storytelling, like, better gameplay. Like, people who played Replicant before they played regular Nier, original Nier, you have been blessed. As original <laughs> graphics and gameplay was just like, Whoa! Capitalism got to games and it's less about the art form. That's true. Now it's just about churning out games just to make the money, but I'm like, if you don't take time to make really solid games and put the time into all of, like the the graphics, the music, making sure coding's okay, and especially having a good solid storyline, like then 
I, I don't know, you're just gonna be like thrown to the side again and we're gonna be like, why should we care? Oh great, another following mission. Oh. Original near fishing. Just fishing in general, man. Is he not supposed to see me? Am I supposed to hide this rock? Hide behind this rock. Cyberpunk was awesome, dude. Oh my gosh, I am supposed to hide. What? What is happening? Am I doing this? I mean, I feel like um, if you had fun with the game and all of its brokenness, then Cyberpunk was was great for you. But. Like, Cyberpunk didn't deliver because they were just, like, rushing to push it out. Ugh. I'm telling you, if you just have a solid story... Oh, he saw me? Oops. <sighs> Why is he not supposed to see me? I'm glad they didn't rush Spider-Man PS4. It could have been a game that was rushed for hype. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't played Spider-Man, but... I'm glad they didn't. Like, don't rush- You don't have to bust out a game every year. Like, just don't do it. Unless you have the manpower and the money to do it. Like, I'd rather you spend more money, I mean, not more money, more time making quality, making a quality product than just giving us games every year. But there was one dating sim that had so many, like, typos and misspellings and terrible grammar. And I'm just like, I like this. This is funny. Because it's not meant to be a serious game. It's just lighthearted, like, oh, you want to go out with... Guys, here you go. You turn into a cat and date them. I'm like, yes, fine, this is silly. It's cute. But like with Final Fantasy games, like AAA games, like take the time to make something good, please. Um, there has been good stories like Disco Elysium, 13 Sentinels. 13 Sentinels! That was also... Such a good game. The way they, like, unfolded the plot and the story was just like, yes, I love you, but 13 Sentinels was also in production for years. I remember I was waiting, like, over five years for that game. I love Vanillaware games. Their battle systems, like, their fighting systems, their arts, their graphic Ugh, it's just so good i love vanillaware i have like every single game that vanillaware ever made they're just so good oh where did he go did i lose him no i didn't okay Um, Out, Outer Wilds, etc. But they are from low-budget studios. AAA game stories are too safe, like the stuff we have seen before on a different twist. Exactly. Coming from a guy with 60 games in the backlog, take 10 years for all I care, and actually work on it. Exactly. Which is why I have more fun playing older games late than playing, you know, new games now. Because it's just not good. Although, I, let me take it back. One recent game that I'm liking a lot. Dragon Quest XI. That is good, solid game. I still have to finish it, but it's good. But yeah, you don't see them pumping out Dragon Quest XII and XIII right now. No, because they're taking the time. I'm sorry, Uriander, I like you, but I'm just gonna fuck you. Yes! I have feet! Oh. 
Mm, guys, quit. Uh, actually, no. My feet are pretty cool. Oh, I want to see my feet. The shoes are cute. I like this color. Maybe if I could change the color of the coat, like change it with a dye. Let's see. Where's my chocobo saddle pack? Do I have any dyes in here? Are all the dyes in my other? Okay, I don't have any dyes here. I guess I put them in my other storage. And I wanted to see what color would change, if the gray of the coat would change, or if the blue lining would change. Because if it could change the gray, it would look so good. Hands! Yes! New gloves. For people who like to play newer games and anxiously waiting for another new game, just broaden your horizons for older gems. Exactly! But people are like, Oh, the graphics aren't as good, or like, Oh, it's so clunky. Ah, oh, excuse me. 145 hours to the north! It's like, well then, you don't really know good games, and I feel sorry for you that you will never know, like, true masterpieces. It sucks for your asthma. Uh, acronym your name. Northwest. Oops! Okay, so smooth Asian care. Mm. Such magnificent, opulent, um, uh, such magnificent, opulent, I can't think of all words. <laughs> Such magnificent, opulent, um, observant. Such magnificent, opulent, observant teeth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, I cannot. Whoa, this is an enemy. Um, having a great evening now. Thanks. Cool beans. There you go. I'm sorry. I'm. I can't think of a good acronym because I'm fighting. <laughs> My real name is Keith. Okay, I'll do Keith. Mm. Now I can't think of K words. Uh, Keith. Umbrella. <laughs> Southwest. Oh, it's through a gorge, so no. Mm. Why can't I think of K words? This is wow. <laughs> My mind is blanking. Uh, the why is the only K word popping up in my head right now? Kinder. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna stop running just to think of K words. Kindness ever in thy heart. <laughs> there you go. I have a ton of games on queue as well, and here I am replaying Dark Souls. I mean, if you like the game, you like the game. Another recent-ish, I know it came out like a couple years ago, so it's not really recent, but the Shadow of the Colossus remake. Shadow of the Colossus! you and your graphics persona's ugly but stylish i don't think persona's ugly but yeah i i did like persona persona was fun and we also waited a long time for that too it's not like they like pushed it out real fast so i appreciate persona also i just wish they had more like um I don't know, a variety of female characters, because for the male, like, um, social links and all that, we got young kids, we got old dudes, like, we got a good mix. But with the girls, it was just, hey, it's your hot party members and, like, more hot ladies. And I'm like, mm, can we have a variety of people, please? 
And we have a like really cool grandma. Can we have like a, a middle-aged lady in in distress? Like in Persona 4, we had the, the housewife. And like in Persona 3, we had uh, Michael, who was the little girl. <clears throat> okay, Avanti is the name to acronym. Mm. Uh, amazingly vast awesomeness. Uh, mm, amazingly vast awesomeness. Mm. N NTI, NTI. Now, till infinity. I think that was a pretty good acronym. <laughs> Geralt. <laughs> Geralt with a K. That game has some pretty crap camera. That's true. Shadow of the Colossus did have bad camera. But in terms of like story, gameplay, I guess replayability, it, it could get pretty old pretty fast. But if you try to climb up the entire tower, I guess that's like another goal for you to like achieve after, you know, the Colossi. What's good? I like Persona for the great ringtones. <laughs> You'll never see me coming. Ooh. How about I got an extra pair of hands? I know what you guys are trying to do. <laughs> cool beans. <clears throat> Okay, where am I going now? Okay. I don't want to walk. I'll pay the 70 gil to teleport. Now till infinity and beyond! I saw the Buzz Lightyear trailer and I'm like, it looks cool. But I hope the story <laughs> helps like, like elevates the graphics. It feels like Star Wars. <clears throat> oh man! <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I went to Disneyland and I rode um, the new Star Wars ride. Well, it's not really new since they opened it like a while ago. But before, you had to sign up on a queue, so not everyone could ride it. But when I went on Christmas Eve, uh, they had the ride open to everyone. And so I wrote it and I was like, this is awesome. Yeah. I'd say if you wanted to go to Disneyland, definitely you gotta ride the two Star Wars rides. They're great. It was so fun. that game but didn't know it was an RPG which, which Shadow of the Colossus it's not really RPG I guess it's kind of like Zelda but not really Zelda I don't know it's unique Jedi Fallen Order that's another good game RPG-esque mmm RPG-esque Although, is it RPG-esque if you're the only... Oh, I guess it still counts as RPG even if you're the only... What? Locate the ever-elusive running way and strike him with a ball of moose flesh? Wait, um... I don't know who it is, though. I wasn't paying attention! Coaster? 
I love roller coasters. Ha! Huh? No, come back. Ha! What? Was that? Oh, whoops. Oh, that was it? Your aim is worse than a stormtrooper. I didn't realize there was a crosshair that I was supposed to aim at the dude. <laughs> Do you mind explaining why you hit me in the face with your balls? <laughs> Blue splash. Not a fan of coaster? Oh, really? I love them. I rode the um, Guardians of the Galaxy drop tower twice in one day. It was so fun. Like you, you're going up and then like, I don't know why, but the first like little burst going up, you kind of float there for a bit and then you just sink. Oh, it felt so weird. They know what they are doing, those riders. They didn't know. <laughs> drop tower, yeah, but oh man. I'm every time I think about going on a drop tower, like it won't be that bad. And then I get up there and I'm just like, wait, why do we just keep going up? And it's terrifying. But then it's so exhilarating when you fall. Oh, it was great. Now we know that Rain has balls. <laughs> I feel like I would enjoy coasters more if I didn't have to wear glasses. Feel like I'm missing out when I take them off or to ride. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's why when I try to, uh, when I go to amusement parks, I try to wear contacts. Because, yeah, you really miss out on a lot if you can't really see anything and it's blurry. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna skip this one. Just give me gloves. Give me hands! Oh-ho! Noise. Oh. Yes, either current! Wait, does this mean I don't explore the rest of the moon? Through quests, I just have to do it on my own? Let's just explore the rest of the moon now? No, but this one gives me an ether connection, so... Hmm, and more quests, okay. And that should be... That should be the end. Yeah, if I do this one main story quest... And then those two extra ones, those are infinite quests, and then I just have three more map ones. Prescription goggles are on my bucket list. <laughs> but I feel like goggles would start to hurt after a while. I guess if they're not too tight on your head, it'd be fine. Do the extra etherite, <clears throat> not etherite, ether current quests before I go upstairs. Knock. I don't understand what quest sync means. I don't understand a lot of things about this game, even though I've been like playing it for. Prescription Digimon goggles? Heck yes. Yes, I will get those. Give me Ty's goggles. He is the best boy. 
As long as they don't fly off my face, I only need to be wearable for three minutes and scream my lungs out. supposed to say. What? Hey, where am I going? Name that way. Who's that? The what? <laughs> okay. Who's that? Pokemon! It's Pikachu! I know I should be listening, but you're just a side quest. <laughs> okay, what am I looking for? Speak with Dreaming Way's acquaintances? Huh? You're a full lover. Oh, so they're around here? Okay. Go over there. I need to finish great ace attorneys. <laughs> I feel like I forgot how to play Dragon Quest. I was thinking about smithing, like blacksmithing, and I was like, how do I do it? I feel like I can get used to the battle system again. But the, um, but the powered up thing, it might take a while to get used to again. Like, um, learning how to summon the metal slimes for level grinding. I don't even know how close I am to the end of that game. About the goggles being comfortable for prolonged wear- ah! But you- Like, you want to be able to keep it with you for the next time you go on coasters though, so you want them to be durable. Uh, it's never too late to dream. If you can dream it, you can do it. You gotta capture the dream. Sounds really nice. Where'd you get that from? I have no idea. Do I have to repair any gear? Nah. So now, I gotta figure out how to get over here. Ooh, it's fun looking at the numbers go down. I wanna explore- but what if I don't have to- walk all over here just to complete the map because if i get all the ether currents i could just fly over and not have to suffer going through all these weird small paths i just want to finish the ether current okay where's the next one 136 yams to the west. <gasps> oh, don't fall. Oh, wait. The west. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Dark Alicious, thank you so much for the raid! Happy New Year! Dudette, I hope you've been well. It's been so long. We took 50 tries? 50 tries of what? This Captain Seeky, we're about to begin descent and we'll be landing shortly. Please put your trays up right, fasten your seatbelts, no belongings, and all that crap. Thank you for flying with us today on Scout Airlines. We hope you enjoy your flight. We'll be making a water landing. Uh, wait. 
to defeat that thing. What? <laughs> In Roblox Bubblegum Tower? Oh, Roblox. I've watched some Roblox um, gameplay vids. I'm like, wow, people get really vicious. As a kid, I only rode two rides, a mini roller coaster and another one I don't know the name of, but it spun around slowly going up, felt like 100 feet strapped uh, in, going up high, not my bag, man. But it's so fun, the thrill you feel. It was at Six Flags, which Six Flags? Because I think Six Flags in different locations have different rides. Yeah, they definitely do, because Six Flags in New Jersey has Nitro, but Six Flags Magic Mountain in California does not. Ah, she's still alive! Near, How you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy New Year! I am still alive. 242 yomps to the north? Oh, okay. I came the wrong way. We did 90 stages on Expo. No 90 stages? What the heck? Things can be durable and moderately comfortable. The only DQ game I played was Yakuza 7. Yakuza's not Dragon Quest? Tries in one. Wow, that you got dedication, Dorgalicious. Northeast. That game was so hard. Nice music. Yeah, they have like pretty nice calming music in here. Look the southeast. Wait, I missed it. Oh no, it's in. It's on the ground. The ether currents on the ground. No, I don't know how to go underground. No. Oh. Secret! Found it. Yakuza is indeed Dragon Quest, at least seven. <laughs> is it really? Yakuza 7, but not DQ, but had a few references to DQ. Ichiban loved DQ. Oh, that's cool. Southeast. 616 yams to the southeast? That's like. All the way over here. I don't remember how to get there. Hmm. I think if I go back here and then walk, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, because the seven is DQ with the best bread eating animations. Ooh, bread. Bread's so yummy. Okay, let's walk. She's still alive, and this is just me, or does she look? Young, where did you go? What? <clears throat> I probably look young because the for some reason the white balance is a lot lighter than I'm used to. So you don't see all of my dark spots and wrinkles. Okay, now how do I get over to the other side? 754 yards to the east? Oh yeah, because it's all over here. Yakuza 7 is the most Dragon Quest you'll get out of Dragon Quest. <laughs> Makes Dragon Quest wish it could be Dragon Quest. Wait, what? <laughs> How does that make sense? Accept the compliment toast? Okay, thank you very much for your kind words, guys. But I'm really an old dinosaur, ready to break at a moment's notice. Oops, gotta go down this bridge. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't fall off. Don't fall off! Eee. Don't fall off. Wow, what? <laughs> I don't remember how to get out of here. Is it this way? I'm an old grandma. Yes, it is this way. Three hundred eighteen yams to the northeast. Yeah, but I gotta get around this huge crevasse. Ooh. Someone smooth is trying to butter your toast. <laughs> Has your muffin been buttered? 
Would you like us to assign someone to butter your muffin? I don't know what that means. Is he bothering you? Jason, you're such a skeez. Okay, 437 yams to the northeast. <clears throat> Gotta play Yakuza 7 now for the fans. No, ditch Ace. No, I, I love Ace Attorney. I gotta finish it. 390 arms to the north. I am an Oji son. No, you're not. You're still a Oni chan. <laughs> oh, the, the um, buttering muffin line is from Mean Girls. One of the greatest movies ever made. Oops. 99 y'all to northeast. Please not. No, a crevasse. Oh, it's right there. There. Oh, but but there is crevasse. There is evil purple glowy stuff. How do I get across? Oh no. Oh, so if I just headed toward where the MSQ is, I could have just popped right the frack. Play Elden Ring? Dude, I can barely play Demon Souls. What makes you think I can play that? Ah, <laughs> uh, isn't it stupid how I can't just jump across? Frack, how do I get across? Oh, there's a bridge. Mean Girls taught me that girls are the meanest creature on the planet and that made, and makes me wish I were gay. <laughs> I mean, I guess. It turns out that all the male actors in that movie, um, were gay. <gasps> okay. That I don't deal with the chaos they'll bring. I feel, uh, I mean, but I don't know if it's because I hung out with like level-headed people. I feel like girls aren't really like that though, unless they're super rich and super bored. What the heck? How am I supposed to- Did I miss something? Am I supposed to go underground again? How am I supposed to get across? I didn't miss a bridge. I've seen some petty girls. Oh yeah, people can be super petty. Can't wait for Elden Ring recently, just Platinum Demon Souls remake. First Platinum of 2022, nice. I need to Platinum games. I've just been so distracted. Oh wait, is that a bridge? Are you the right bridge? Fall, fall. I can't even jump onto this bridge. It's right there! Oh my gosh, are you- Alright, Miss Jackson, are you for real? Okay, so I have to go from here. So stupid. Okay, then I'm just teleporting back to here. Wow, I hate this. I hate the surface of the moon. Platinum is never my goal, I can't even watch with the low attentions. <laughs> Oh, but platinuming is fun. Unless they're like super grindy quests. Which is why I'm glad Type Zero didn't have grindy um, trophies. Near Automata, you got to buy the trophy, so like that was awesome. Near Replicant has some grindy trophies that I really need to get back to. I love seeing the Platinum Trophy, like, status, though. It's like, yes! I completed everything. I'm awesome. The Platinum Games because it gives me something to do to keep playing the game after you finish it. Yes. That, too. Grinding and farming trophies are the worst. It's too much. Yeah. Like, I should Platinum the Zillia games, but I don't... I don't want to because there's so many, like, Oh, you do 450 of this thing in battle, and I'm like, I don't want to, there's so many characters. Oh, it's 
It's gonna take so much time. Okay, so I had to enter through this weird grass thing. Right? No. No, I have to go across this platform. I feel like Plat is an excuse to hate the game most of the time. I'd rather end the game on a high note. 13 Sentinels Plat was great because it came so naturally. Yes. It did. After beating, I give the game a break and then replay it. That's fun too. Because it's like, what made me like this game? What did I not like about this game? You get to re-explore everything. If I am correct, the ether card should be right there. I am not correct. <laughs> Now I probably have to go out here to be able to connect to here. Oh yeah, because the ether current's right there. The Imagine encountering bunnies and and walker trailer. That would have been so cute, but I feel like it would have totally ruined the surprise. east. Ooh, so there's one here. I shall look for. This reminds me of the Ragnarok. Final Fantasy VIII. But I don't think it is a Ragnarok. But if they call it Ragnarok, I'll be happy. Give me. Give me. I'm glad most Souls games don't require much farming, unlike Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza seems like really intense with all the farming. And then the last one should be the one on the cliff that I'm trying to get to. As much as I love Nier, I wouldn't want to plat it. I'm going to do it because I love it. Like one game I'm not looking forward to looking forward to platinuming again is Final Fantasy 13. Because I already platinumed it twice, but none of them are on my US PlayStation account. And I want it on my US PlayStation account. So I gotta play it again. I also have to, I also, I don't have to, but I want to um, platinum PlayStation 3 Catherine. <sighs> because when I did it the first time, it was on my Japanese PlayStation account, because I'm dumb. I don't even feel like platinuming Lost Judgment anymore after having platinum from Yakuza 0 to 7. Dang. That bad, huh? You were such a slog that I loved. Have you played 13 too? I did. What are your thoughts? It's garbage. <laughs> I don't know if people were excited to have different monsters on their team. I was like, this is kind of stupid. I didn't like the monster recruiting. Um, I thought uh, Caius and... Noel were kind of stupid. I think Kaius was super stupid. I didn't like him. All because, like, their story... Again, it's because they didn't really, like, um, develop the story in 13 about the world. That you're just like, why should I care about this now? Maybe it's their way of making you care now. Because it's like, oh, hey, look, there's this big world-ending event that's gonna happen. I didn't care. I was like, you ruined a pretty decent ending, like everyone was happy and now you're just bringing weird shenanigans into this again? Why? I don't know, I, I didn't like it. it wasn't, oh. And like, the all the maps, like I know that everyone complained that the maps in 13 were very linear. Except for the, um, except for the Archelite Steep, Step, whatever, which was basically an open field with, like, paths on all the far edges to different areas. But you didn't have to make that big city be such a windy, confusing piece of trash. I hated it. 13-2, I just... 
I mean, I know people like it, and people like Noel, and they're like, oh, Sarah's cute too, and I'm just like, ugh. And, like, the way Snow left Sarah so easily after fighting all throughout Final Fantasy XIII to get her back. And it's just like, I'm gonna go save your sister. But it's like, you're, but you're gonna leave Sarah behind? Like, eh? I don't, I don't know. And the whole time-traveling dimension thing, I was just like, you're bringing in unnecessary, like, elements into the game that... It's garbage. 13 2 is garbage. Ugh. Uh, Lightning Returns Platinum was fun. I tried playing Lightning Returns also, and I'm just like, why? I mean, changing it to different outfits that they have different um, abilities was like, okay, cool. But then the whole, you have a certain amount of time to do everything perfectly, or else you're not gonna get the good ending. And I'm just like, what? Why would you put this extra pressure on us? And like the whole time travel thing and why hope is de-aged again because of like some weird, um, oh, this is his like, pure form or whatever like this is the form we can take over his body the easy it's like what why would you undo everything and then like they basically just ditched saz in those games they're just like oh i'm gonna show up for like five seconds and that's it and then vanille and fang are just like oh there's like so ethereal and you know untouchable and whoa they're amazing like uh, uh, uh. I, I didn't like it. I hate it. Um, you are not done. Region locking is dumb. Region locking is dumb. I thought Caius was a compelling villain, better than the Pope. All, just all the bosses in Final Fantasy XIII were stupid and they sucked. Yeah, they were. But yeah, the Pope is just like. Why is he so terrible that we have to fight him? And he's just like, Oh, Lucy, Falsy, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, but why? Why? It's just like, hey, you have to fight him just because he's there now. And it's just like... He's here now. Where was he before? Like, huh? It doesn't make sense. I remember Lightning Returns came out like a month before or after Tracking Guard 3 because I remember Platinum both games back to back. Tracking Guard 3 was... Far superior. I liked his motivation for being a villain. Grand Pulse. Uh. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink may have co-op? Is that out for PS4 or 5, whatever? Did it finally come out? <laughs> I want to play Grand Blue. Everyone looks so gorgeous. I have mixed feelings, but honestly, I was disappointed. Wait, I'm not- <gasps> No, I'm missing one? I'm missing a quest? Yeah. I'm missing one etherite quest? I mean, ether card quest? I thought I did them both. Mm. Or do I have to speak with growing way? Okay. Where's the teleporter? Snow was garbage. Oh yeah, snow was garbage. Time travel really pissed me off because it ruined the 13 ending. Right? Because it's like everything we fought towards and it's just like undone. Like, then what was the point? It's stupid. Lightning Returns was more like a fan service. It really was. Just like, hey, look at Lightning dressed up in all these different outfits. And it's like, yes, I love outfit changing, but give it... I, I don't know. It's... I don't like it. How do I teleport to the top again? Where, which one teleports me? You? No. I don't want to walk all the way to the top, guys. Hope's the aging was supposed to be for Lightning's familiarity with him, which I hated. Exactly! It's like, hey, show that time passed. Show that things happened while she was out. Like, make it have a consequence. Please. But no, they're just like, we 
just gonna do undo everything. That's stupid. On the talk of a time locking, one thing I hate about FF9 is how one of Steiner's swords was only obtainable if you get to the end game at a certain time. Yeah, and like um another one of Vivi's weapons, it's like if you pass by it, then you're just done. So he can't learn the the highest tier spells. And I'm just like, what? So yeah, Final Fantasy IX. If you were not on top of things, then it was just like, sucks for you. You missed it. Four and five and PC. Ooh, so it's out. Hey. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy is the thing I needed since Versus. I just want all the pretty guys and girls. <laughs> Final MSQ in the area. Wait. Oh, you're right. That's where the okay. Thank you, Maka. Gotta get some sleep, but I was super happy. To Thank you, Super Dorkalicious. I love you and Happy New Year. It was so good to see you again. Parasite Eve 3 had the worst time travel mechanic. Ooh. I kind of want to watch playthroughs of Parasite Eve. I've seen so many images and I know the story, but I haven't seen it. Maybe I should find someone on YouTube. My friend played um, Parasite Eve, was it 3 or... She played the one where Aya Brea's clothes come off as she gets more damage. And she was like, it was not good. <laughs> I wanted to see adult Hope and Lightning interact. Exactly, because then she'll be like, Hope, you grew up. You have grown and matured. Like, yes, thank you. But instead, they revert him back to his child and I'm just like, well then, what was the point? He didn't develop, he didn't mature. Like, she didn't get to like, I mean, yeah, she missed out on him growing, but it's like, that's what happened. Why are they attacking me? Yeah, showed him he's grown up and can handle himself. Exactly. Oh. As opposed to when he was like a little child and she was like, I'm gonna protect you. It's like, no, now he can do the protect- he's grown up. Oh my gosh, more. There's Parasite Eve 3. I thought the game was so bad it didn't count as Parasite Eve game. Ooh. The third birthday. Yeah. That's what she played. And she was like, mm mm. My PSP trigger broke because of that game? <gasps> oh my gosh. Parasite Eve 3 is the PSP one with clothes ripping fans ever the game that entered the franchise. Ooh, that's so sad. Because I remember listening. Even if I didn't play the Parasite Eve games, I listened to the soundtrack. And I was like, this is cool. Now I'm mad at 13.3. Anything with 13 makes me mad. Yeah, 13 was just... Garbage. Versus 13 makes me mad because it didn't come out. I know. The potential for it to be good. Where is Yashtola? Oh my gosh, she's all the way down there. Oh my god. It's like everything versus 13 could have been with Stella, with you know, the actual bad guy showing up. Yeet! Ah! Yep, still don't have to fix my clothes. <laughs> I didn't care if it was going to be good, I wanted those questions answered. It was so interesting. <sighs> Rip Stella. It have been so good. And like, Gentiana's role, I think, was kind of like nerfed also. That was her name, right? Gentiana? The lady in the black? And yeah, the, the old bad guy that. Oh. It's like if you're gonna feature him so prominently in the Kingsglaive movie. And you're gonna show him to be like, oh hey, I've got as many swords as you, Noctis. 
Then why did you just... 15 was just like, Derp derp, he turned into a mindless zombie, ha! Huh? So stupid. EE3 and FF13 had a cross-promotion event. I feel like those games marked the others as kids. Where, where was Regis while he was on the run from the Empire? Hmm. Wait, I read totally different things. Cross movement. I feel like those games were trying to where things start to go downhill. When Squaresoft became Square Enix, that's when it started to go downhill because the execs started to have more of a say in the games, and it's just like back off and leave everyone alone. <sighs> It is complete! Oh no wait. I want the car. Like, what was the near-death experience? Did Stella and Noctis know each other as kids? Where was Regis while he was on the road from the Empire? So Stella and Noctis did know each other as kids. Um, there were a couple animations that came out. Um, they met each other. One, like, one time or twice? And they're like, you're not supposed to see each other yet or something. And it's like... Oh wait, not Stella and not Luna and not this. Wait, okay, did I map everything? No, I didn't map the center. Sorry, I'm thinking about Luna. But yeah, Stella and not this. Like, what was their deal? Did they like each other? Like, like what happened? It, the story could have been so much more epic and so cool. It didn't happen. Ugh. I'm done. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I'm supposed to go here. How many crystals were there before the final crystal was all that's left? It was the war for the final everlasting crystal that compelled me. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and then... I don't know what 15 was trying to do. It's like, what was... What's your ultimate end goal? To get married? So lackluster, so boring. Wait, what am I getting at? A hat? I can't wear hats. Kind of makes me wish Vanillaware stays a small company. If they get too big, we'll see 13 MFTs. No, Vanillaware, I love it, and I want them to get more recognition. I don't want them to turn into like a, like, like garbage. I love them too much. Vanillaware needs to stay small. Wait, where is it? Is this underground? At another gate. Oh, and exit to another gate. Actually, there was a scene in the E3 trail where Stella and Noctis are running from something. That's definitely when the near-death experience happened. My end goal was to take back the crystal and rid the Empire with my ultimate power of kings. That... Oh yeah, I forgot the Empire was a thing. But I don't know, it's just so... So... Boring and stupid. 15 was a disappointment. What's up, Regal? Whoa. Have I been here? I have. Camp Broken Glass. Oh, yeah. Are there any ether cards here? I'm. Oh, yeah. I could fly. If I'm a tomb. How the heck do I get out of here? Eh? Oh, here. I could have written it so much better. Uh. Word of advice don't treat yourself with Wendy's. After getting your booster. I already got my booster. Oh, but now that you mention Wendy's, I kinda wanna eat Wendy's. I want Frosty. Uh, even chapter 13 where Nock loses his powers, that was the worst. That was That was utter garbage. And then the amount of time that you're spent in the world of ruin was like nothing because it's like, okay, you're gonna ride your car from this town? back to the main capital, and then it's the end of the game. And I was like, then what was the point? 
of building this entire new world. Like, what? It's so stupid. I think I played an hour of 15 where they pushed the card and dropped it and never looked back. Yes! Map exploration complete. Wait, I could just... I'll just fly. Not like I have anything else to do. Oh yeah, and also in the English version of 15, where they renamed Sydney to Cindy, I'm like, girls with the name Sydney exist. Why did you change her name? The purpose of her being there was that so that she's another type of Sid. Like, you, you dummies. Instead of a stealth mission and using the ring, use the enemy firearms that are lying around in the facility. Hmm. I don't know, it's just... Things are not well planned out and not well executed. It's garbage. Sydney over Cindy, yes. Your voice soothes me after I threw it all up. I'm sorry you threw it all up, but... If, if you did it, that means you had to do it. Your body was like, no thank you. This is not the type of sustenance we need. Oh wait, are you inside the building? Whee! More time stuff! Uh, speak with Kral at the Baldesian Annex? Old Charlian. How do you pronounce Regis? Regis? I pronounce it as it's spelled. I think it's Regis. I don't know why I said Regis. Uh, okay, wait. Yeah, give me the map. Ethernet. Yes! I say Regis. Oh, Regis is also possible. Same way you pronounce Regal. All the Final Fantasy IV music. Give it to me. Where's the designated location? Huh? Here? Where? Huh? Oh, inside? Yes? Regis. Oh, not just. Please don't judge. Baconator with Sai Chili to dip the burger is a guilty pleasure. I like Junior Bacon Cheeseburger with um, Frosty, and I dip the fries in the Frosty. Long time no see, guys. That's how they say it in Japanese. Oh, Degas? Mm. Today is war. <laughs> Whoa! Who are all these people? They'll never be cool as I'm Eric. No judging, only judge if you overindulge. Mm. No judgment here. I mean, if you want to be judgy, I actually like Taco Bell breakfast. Is actually really good. Ah, One of the best fast food breakfasts I've ever had. Seisukuni. Seisukuni. It's like how they say Luna Freya instead of Luna Freya. Ui. What's happening? Oh, I like her shirt! Oh man. Mazua, Kuna Shosu ni Ojite Kureta Kotoni, Fukaku Kansha Shio. Kansha Shio. Kyo Korekara Suru Hanashua. Of the Story Star! Oh, I dropped my post-its! So what game would you recommend top game? I mean, I have my favorites. I don't know what to do with my favorites. I don't know what to do with my favorites. 
Oh, you say Gentiana, not Gentiana. I say Gentiana also. Um, I'd say the game that I loved the music. I loved the gameplay, the battle style, the story, the dialogue, the side quest, the characters. And I never really felt bored. Shadow Hearts Covenant. It's a PS2 game. I'd say that is. Because I love Nier, but Shadow Hearts Covenant was funny also. Were these people under mind control? Oh, is this bad? I've heard good things about Tokimeki Memorial, Sex the Dark Souls of Dating Sim Games. Tokimeki Memorial. Let me tell you, if you screw one thing up, you're done. And you have to stick to such a strict schedule. You can't mess anything up. If you are after a guy, you are only after that guy. It is so hard. It is so time consuming. And I'm just like, I just want to be able to date guys and get cute gallery pictures. No, Tokimeki Memorial is a freaking wow. It's very laborious. Okay, spoilers must leave. Oh no, don't leave! If you didn't skip, you know! I'm, I'm getting bored now. Skip it all, I skipped it. Where do I go now? Back there. Except the Lala's. Oh, except for the bunny skip everything. Mm. No, don't skip. I, I wasn't very invested. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to the dialogue. I just pushed the, my mouse button when I thought they were done talking. I even pushed it before they were done talking. But I guess there is just unrest about the final days. But it's okay because um. We won't even find out what the final days are yet, because they gotta add more patches, so... Eh. <laughs> the moon! I'm so dark. You're wrong? Oh, whoops. Okay, but for real, I must go. Gotta finish Heaven Ward. Go on, Artsy! Have fun finishing Heaven's Ward! Thanks for joining, it was so nice talking with you again. Ooh, it's raining fire! Uh, they said you're... picky AF and you should enjoy what they give you. Ooh! I've missed you too, Artsy! Ooh, ooh, ooh! As no thank red. <laughs> we'll see you again, definitely. I'll try to be more active on Twitter again. <laughs> I've been so bad about that. It is thank red. Hello. Ah, yasumo te toki ni uaru ina. Man, if only Imerik was an option. I totally picked him. Uh, you told them humans have to have the spice of life. Tatsukaru. What? You don't have to say anything about it. 
Why are we so dark? Where is the light? Why are we so dark? Where is the light? Why are we so dark? Why are we so dark? それに当たってだウリエンジだからこそ冷静な状況判断がそうなった時は躊躇はいらないあかつきの練習はなんだかんだお前も含めて今のうちに頼んでおかないと気づいたら全員揃って負け戦に身を投じてた I look like an evil person. I look so evil. Taku. So na shinpai ga dekiru da nante. De. Hiki uke de moraeru ka. Why am I backlit? Okage de tsukoshi bakari ki ga karu kunatta. Sore ja, mata kyuke no ato de na. What did you do? Nothing, I think. He turned up his voice way louder than you. Oh, did I? Whoopsies. I didn't touch anything, though. A short while earlier in the Alamegan Quarter. I don't care. Whoa, I got a ton of experience for that. What level am I? I'm 85. I still have to do the the bar job quests. But I don't remember how to get to the um I don't remember how to get to the town. The rads of love the How do I look at the map? Um duh. Northern Empty? What? Whoa! That's nothing. The Sea of Stars, that's the moon. Um, Ilsebard? Hersham? Camp Broken Glass? Yeah! Rad's at time! That's where I have to go. But all of these- Oh! Wait a minute, can I go there? Try going there. Let me just start this. <gasps> I could die. Nice. I forgot. I've got a hat. You from the shadow world? I know that was really weird. But you can't see hats on my head. Okay, so it looks like that. Man, I bet I would look so cute, but Vieras can't wear hats. Okay, main hall. I'll get out of the main hall first. Okay, journey to Thavnir? Where's that? Oh, okay. I have to go here anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go do the great work. Bunny ears are hats in most games. I know, but if it's part- I am a bunny person. That is my race. So my ears are not my hat. So I should be able to wear hats. Training fire. I like the dubstep music. What? Dubstep? Oh. Okay, I guess they just stunt me here. I just want to go to Razatan, guys. Secret lore all Viras are actually wearing bunny ear hats. Vanna Spati now available. Oh, is it a dungeon or is it a trial? If it's a dungeon, I could do it myself. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
It's a dungeon. Um. Do I have time to do it? Uh, I kind of want to see if I can go to Razatan. Or at least get this thing attuned. Will they let me go? Interesting idea for a game the whole time you're playing a doppelganger. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's kind of the story of Nier, though. Uh... By the way, you can teleport to this map for free with the lady who teleports you here in the first place. Oh, really? Whoopsie. Um, watch me run away from the dungeon. <laughs> Try to traverse this. Place. Wait, are there ether crowns here? There are no. One hundred forty-three to the northeast. I don't feel like it's gonna be here then. I feel like it's gonna be on the other side of that. Or is it? Send me all to the north. Be on like a cliff. 36? Oh, it's right here! Nice! How much money do I have? 336, 200. Okay. Not bad, but not great. 59 yom to the north? Okay, yeah, that's um, gonna be right there. I need to find a way that side. Jump! Damn it. Jump. Are you for real? Oh, okay. Just walk this way. How do I get out of this? Okay, who am I? Speak with Ogle. Re Regal, were you able to access Razatan a lot earlier than level 85? I'm level 85, and I'm just about to like try going to it. Because like when we were right in front of there the first time, they're just like, Oh, we're not gonna let you in. And I was just like, why? But now I want to go in. I want the bar job quests. And behind you, like 20 seconds. What? Uh, keep an eye out for her. Why? What's why? What is Razatan? It's um, it's town up here. Where they give you um, all the job quests. Is it not pronounced Razatan? I don't know. It's like R A D Z something something. Oh, there you are. Hi. Eventually? Oh, okay. So then I shouldn't even like try to get there right now. Yeah. Ooh, flashing. Flashing light. I slayed the beast. I am awesome. Okay, 
Well, if I'm gonna get there eventually, then I won't force it. 134 yams to the east. Yeah, it's over here. I know. Then I guess I should wait for story because it looks like... No, oh, but I should be able to get... I don't know. Uh, MSQ will take you there after the next dungeon. Oh! You get to the job quest as you go through the MSQ. Oh, okay. It's good seeing you. Good night. Night smooth. Oh, hydrate. <laughs> Hydration done. Okay, then I guess I'll have to do this dungeon. But I looked at what time it is, and I am getting sleepy. I tried. There's no way to get there. Okay. Then I should be patient. I'll just do the dungeon. But yeah, I think it's too late to start the dungeon because it's pretty late. I've been streaming for like more than two hours now. I think I should just go to sleep. I probably still won't have my HDMI splitter next time I stream, so I'll just play more 14 then. Uh, yeah. I won't play any 14 tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I'll just, I'll just show you the dungeon next time. Most of it was queue time. Yeah, but like, um, after I got into the game, I hit record and it, now it says 2 hours, 12 minutes. So, yeah. I think I'll end this here. Um... Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was fun, guys. It was fun to stream again. It was fun to play games again. It was nice to see and talk to all of you again. It's super fun. And, yeah. Trickery failed. Haha! <laughs> Timers for the win. Oh, yeah. It's time for me to sleep. It's time for you all to sleep because you're probably in earlier time zones than I am. So, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night. Happy New Year. And, yeah. See you next time. Bye! -bye.